Hi guys, this is Teddy again. Um, today I am explain. I am going to explain about how to add Bluetooth on JVC RC five five zero, aka El Diablo. This one. Um, actually, this picture is from Victor. Um, I happen to have the uh, three kinds of. Um, Diablo right now okay so I just want to show you a uh, difference between these three types okay first of all this one from the uh, Victor Japan um, pretty much same side is also same and the difference is the, uh, the this one has adjustment on motor. Usually the uh, Diablo in uh, United States they don't have. They just uh, like this one, this motor. Um, so, but Victor has the uh, this motor originally, so it's good. And uh, <coughs> this is the power unit for the Victor. And this is radio scale. It has the three TV, FM, AM. The meta and the LED is the same. RC 550. That's it, nothing. Um, the Victor has the uh, nice uh, logo. This Japan Victor company, made in Japan. And uh, this is a logo which is very rare in here right and this is it so um, I have I searched about the history of this um, Victor things and I found out this is a very you know <laughs> I, I, I like the, uh, this story from the Victor the Victor created this um, mono uh, boombox which is not stereo the mono cassette deck and uh, radio also they can connect the mic so um, their suggestion in this picture saying um, you can use this um, Diablo at the school the principal talking about something using this Diablo <laughs> looks good also at the restaurant or bar you can use this one as a uh, the guests can you know guests can sing or uh, listen to the radio especially if you put this one on the restaurant people will come more because uh, this is you know kind of look, looking good very huge mono radio cassette radio and also family when the family get together, why don't you do the karaoke party? So you can connect the mic to here and play tape and sing. Or at the business scene, um, you can explain about your products with using this one, like this. So back then, <coughs> this is the uh, flyer about this Victor RC550. Nice, huh? Okay, and um, <coughs> that's a big that. And this one is a uh, big uh, JVC, the later model, I think. And uh, in the United States, this one, most of them are this one. Um, same. Everything is same except the uh, motor has no speed adjustment and also uh, scale. This is the scale for the United States one. It has the uh, um, five bands FM, AM, and the three short waves. Totally different from this, looks like. Other than scales, everything is same. Okay. And I have another one, which is the uh, 
this is um, LV also this one has the uh, motor adjustment in here and also this one has the MIDI jack instead of the 3.5 mm uh, jack other than that looks like same and uh, <coughs> This is a uh, scale for the LB. Um, it has the long wave, two short waves and long wave. So the okay, compared to the United States, it has three short wave, but this one has the one long wave. <clears throat> And also the uh, this LV model, um, this is the uh, power unit. It has the switch for the AC or DC like this. This doesn't have. This is uh, this just like this. And also the LV model has the uh, 110 volt or for the European model 200 something, 240 or something. So you can choose either voltage. And uh, so LV model can be found a lot in the in Europe, not the US. And uh, this type, this simple type. Uh, be found in United States. Okay, so <coughs> let's see. <coughs> this is LB. Now, one more thing the Victor, this one has the uh, motor speed adjustment. Unlike the uh, other two, um, this is a Victor. Okay, here. This one is motor speed adjustment. So, um, other two, this one is fine tuner for the uh, radio. And uh, there was an explanation about it, why. Okay, um, here, um, in Japanese they said, um, it is good for the less English lesson because of it has the uh, cassette speed adjustment so when the uh, the japanese people try to learn how to speak english or how to listen in, listen um, how to you know understand the english so they can change the tape speed slow and they can easily understand what they are saying or something like that so um i think i don't think that's the only reason they add the uh, tape speed adjustment uh, knob here, but uh, <laughs> that's the uh, explanation on this flyer. Here, okay. So these three kinds of the uh, um, El Diablo. Now, I am going to show you how I install the uh, Bluetooth on this on this machine. Okay. This is the, uh, so I would say USA style. Uh, the simple and no adjustment and the 3.5 jack. Uh, not the MIDI. Okay. Um, and this is the plan. Uh, from the power, from the power to the uh, 6 pin, um, the positive line, positive wire, and the goes to the uh, socket these are the same uh, with the M9994 I explained and the negative line goes to the uh, socket directly and whenever the power on for the Bluetooth the Bluetooth uh, this is the uh, noise cancellation system ground loop noise cancellation system and uh, um, since the uh, Diablo is the uh, mono I have to short this left and right line uh, with the uh, uh, register one kilometer, one Q, 
uh, 1k register and goes into here. This is a UX. And the ground is here, like this. Now, there is another uh, wire in here for the switch. So, I'm going to explain why I'm using the, these wires for connected to the, this other side of the switch. Um, in order to explain for the, you need to, I want you to understand. Oh, this is the, uh, the LED. And this is the, uh, um, how I put that uh, right side on each side and the left side on its top. Uh, because there is no space on the side, so I chose here and the testing, which is looks good. Um, this is a blue, but you can choose, you know, many colors you want. Like uh, next time I try to amber instead of blue or red or yellow, so amber could be, you know, looks good. Um, speaker cone, I like this. I use the uh, Japanese calligraphic ink, calligraphy ink, which is not the uh, um, <coughs> paint. This is a dye. Um, this one. So, the uh, difference between paint and dye is the, uh, the paint. You put the paint on the cone, then cone's weight is cha will change and the sound will change too. But dye um, is the uh, um, totally different way to paint, uh, you know, change the color. And also the, when you dye the paper cone with the Japanese, Japanese ink, this paper cone becomes more stiff. And I believe the uh, sound become more like a um, sharp or something like that. It's not gonna affect the negative way, but uh, I believe it's gonna affect a little positive way. That's why I'm using the uh, these Japanese uh, calligraphy ink. And these are the Japanese uh, calligraphy uh, brushes. You can buy from Amazon, both of them around less than twenty dollars and you can use for a while but you know you can use a long time once you buy it now um yeah this is the final result looks good and uh, these are the belts uh, size um they use two of them it's used two of them for one for the uh, me, um, counter and one for the uh, cassette trapped belt this information can be found anywhere. And uh, this is the, here's a switch. And I use the uh, both side of the six pin. Um, okay, this is the, uh, the power unit here and it goes into here. And the Bluetooth goes into like this and the LED goes here, like this. So, um, this wiring is same as M9994 uh, in the previous video, um, but uh, the, there is a trick uh, you need to understand how to um, use the Bluetooth on this machine. Now, uh, um, okay, here, again, this one, um, this Diablo has no uh, function switch for the uh, line in. That means the, uh, there's a uh, line in jack. Whenever you um, use the, uh, this giant line, line jack, okay. Um, let's see. There's a two pa uh, steel panels top one and the bottom one and uh, when the jack is in from outside to here this panel push down but will be pushed down push down and uh, these panels panels steel panel right now connecting each other touching each other but when the jack in here it will push down this uh, 
lower panel, bottom panel, lower, and uh, this connection will be cut. At that time, um, the sound from the speaker will played only from here, not radio. So um, even though this boombox has no function switch for the AUX or line E, but when you uh, connect it, 3.5 male jack to this female jack, uh, it's auto automatically um, turn off the radio and play the whatever you connected to here. So um, what I did was um, I needed to, okay, here. This is my YouTube video, okay. And uh, after this, uh, this is a, uh, creating the contact. And after this, mm, here, no, yeah, okay, a little, yeah, here, um, I am the, uh, using black electric tape, like this one, like this one, and uh, separating to uh, these steel panels. So with using this one, that means the uh, I as if I um, okay um, here again. So these two panels. Um, touching each other, each other, but uh, use this um, electric tape. I separated it. That means the uh, this without jack inserted in here. This one is right now for the line in. So this boombox will play only the music from line in. And. Uh, <coughs> Signal from the Bluetooth and the left and right. I uh, shorted these two lines with the uh, register one kilo register and uh, make make it the one line mono signal line and solder that in here. Okay, now the ground is here and uh, uh, the, on the reverse side these two. Uh, panels are separated by the electric tape. That means whenever I turn on the power for the Bluetooth without um, inserting the 3.5 mail jack in here, this boombox will play the Bluetooth. And there is the one problem with this one. Because the uh, I separated these uh, um, steel panels which is switch for the line in it won't play the radio. So in order to play radio, I have to connect these two, uh, this switch. So the reverse side, okay. This is the uh, line in. Okay, this is the ground. And this is for the Bluetooth um, left and right mono signal here, and uh, these two, this one and this one, um, I use the uh, wire. Okay, this one, oh, hold on, this one and this one, I use uh, the wire connecting to the uh, this switch here. So whenever the switch is off, that means Bluetooth is off, these two lines are connected. And uh, as if there is no black uh, electric tape separated uh, to, to the uh, uh, separated to steel switch. It's, you know, from the outside, I 
set them as if it is the uh, touching each other. And uh, when the Bluetooth is on, so uh, on, right? On, the power goes to the Bluetooth, and uh, at the same time, this um, connection will cut, will be cut. That means the uh, Bluetooth, only the Bluetooth, come out from the speaker, not the radio. And uh, when the um, Bluetooth turn off, then this one, these wires connect the uh, radio, radio signal, and you can hear the radio. So, um, so I'm tweaking the uh, this switch using the uh, this six pin switch and uh, so that behind <coughs> so that from the uh, this behind you know <coughs> here do you understand what i'm saying um i think i have the uh, some explanation paper about it. This one. No. Um, I needed to find out how this switch was working, and uh, yeah, I think I have somewhere. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I lost it. These are the plan. <laughs> I mean, I tried many ways to... Oh, these are the how to uh, change sterile, sterile wires into the mono. So... And, uh, hmm... I have more good like this. Um, two panels and a tuner one or you know something like that. Uh, I um, I tested many way and how it's work and I tested the uh, this you know if I cut. This, uh, if I separate these panels, what's going to happen? Something like that. Then, um, yeah, these uh, panels have to be separated in order to use the Bluetooth signal or something like that. Right. Okay. Oh. Also, uh, yeah, that's the uh, how I uh, install Bluetooth to the uh, this LDL. Um, It's not so difficult uh, once you understand, or once I understood about the switch on the, this line-in jack. So there's another way. Um, there's also another way. Uh, I don't have to use the, this switch on the jack, but uh, this one has the uh, uh, line, this one. Oh, no. This one, okay. This one goes to the tuner, and I can use the uh, these lines. That is the uh, power for the tuner, so I can cut this one in order to cut the radio signal to the amplifier. And also, I can use these three um, yellow, black, white lines. Some of them are uh, signal lines, so I can hijack this signal line from the tuner for the Bluetooth. So there's another way. Um, Especially the the MIDI jack one, I need to hijack the uh, tuner line. But uh, as long as you, uh, if you have the uh, Diablo with this 3.5 female jack, then this way it's also can be used. Either way. So, and another thing, this is not a Bluetooth, but uh, I found out very interesting. This um, Diablo using the uh, magnetic field for the auto stop. So this is called a hole system or hard system or something like that. Um, when the tape is spinning, 
the, uh, this magnetic will spin and uh, at a certain speed they will think it will think the whole system thinks the uh, tape is playing well but if the speed change and uh, they will think the uh, something is the uh, tape is you know went to the uh, end and uh, solenoid power on the solenoid magnetic switch and uh, stop the play or uh, uh, you know stop the play so this is the how system um, I found this uh, when I first um, and uh, I mean encountered with this JVC and I didn't know how why this one stop or something like that and uh, um, with the manual service manual and there's there was an explanation about this um, different type of the uh, stop auto stop system yeah this one this one or a whole element or something like that. This is how the uh, LDR uh, will work for the auto stop. And also this small paper, I always write down the parts like a screws like this and I use the uh, lot of this um, pad for the container and I separate all parts with this um, with these notes, also pictures and the video. So, Whenever I have to put them back together, I use the uh, exact same parts for the exact same place. Sometimes I found many um, many people opened up the, this boom box or other ele uh, electronics, and when they put together, they forgot which one is go to the which which place. So sometimes they use different size of the screws onto the mount, um, resulted and breaking bro bro break out the uh, the mount screw mount so you know i recommend you to um write down every detail of the uh, remove the parts and uh, press it back to the uh, original position yep that's it guys um this is how i um install the uh, Bluetooth on the uh, RC550 uh, aka LDR. The parts I used in this the uh, Bluetooth mode the same as the uh, Sanyo M9994K. So these things you can check out um, the other video. Uh, this one particularly I will explain how to insert onto the uh, this JVC aka LDA Pro. <clears throat> the power is the power uh, come from the, uh, the power source. This is same and uh, socket and the charger and the two USB one goes to the uh, LED this one is the uh, I set up nine LEDs, and the other one goes to the Bluetooth with the uh, DC isolator. And uh, since this um, LDA bro is the uh, mono, so I shot it left and right inside of this. And there is a two wires um, for the uh, ground and one si uh, music signal line, uh, the mono line. So I use the uh, one kilo ohm register for the uh, those two stereo lines and uh, make it in uh, one line. And uh, this line goes into here. This is a line in. Okay, like this. Okay, this is the line. Um, here's a uh, ground, and the other one is here. Um, blue one. <coughs> This is the uh, other Diablo's amp and uh, cassette deck. Here's a la uh, AUX in line. Okay, this is here. I um, connected the uh, ground, and this one 
connected the uh, mono music line. Okay, these two. And also, um, you notice that there's another two wires, yellow one. Okay, let's see. This is the line AUX in. This is ground and this is a mono line, music line from the Bluetooth. And also yellow lines from these two. And the reason I put the yellow lines is... <clears throat> okay. This is um, jack, female jack for the 3.5. Uh, for the uh, AUX in line in and uh, there are the two panels over there you can see um, okay uh, let's see All right this panel and this one two of them and two of them are uh, touching each other. And uh, once the, uh, the jack inserted in here, the lower panel is not touching to the uh, top pan, uh, this uh, steel. So that means the, uh, this one has function switch for only tape or radio. And uh, whenever you uh, put the 3.5 mm made a jack onto the uh, line in automatically override <coughs> that's music source override the uh, radio or cassette I guess so I I just tested on the radio so I didn't check the uh, uh, cassette but uh, probably uh, it should be uh, override everything and only play from the outside music so um and how it works is the uh, once the jack is inserted into the uh, AX port, okay, this is uh, 3.5 jack, and here is a panel like this, and also another panel like this, and here it's touching each other, uh, and uh, at this condition, uh, radio or cassette will play, but once you uh, put 3.5 jack in here then this touching panel this is A this is B we separate it and after separate it only the outside music goes into the uh, amp this is a normal and this is the uh, when using the uh, line in so uh, I used I try to separate this one using the uh, black uh, electric tape, which is the uh, I showed in the YouTube. Okay, here. Let's see. Um, right. After uh, this scene, uh, I'm cleaning the uh, contact with the contact cleaner. Okay, then over here. What I'm doing is using a black electric tape and separating two panels, two steels, like this. Yep. And checking the uh, two panels, uh, you know, uh, doesn't the, uh, touch each other, isn't touched each other. So now after that, right now the uh, I put the um, tape on the line jack, so this um, music signal from the Bluetooth will play. <coughs> when you power on the Bluetooth and the, this uh, radio. Now, um, what's going to happen is after turn off the Bluetooth, you cannot hear the radio or uh, cassette because I already, uh, you know, 
put the tape and uh, set these the two panels apart. So I need to connect it in order to listen the uh, radio or cassette. So these two pins. Um, okay, hold on. These two pins on the picture here. Okay. These two pins. If I touch from the behind this one and this one, if I jump, make a jump from here to here or here, from here to here, then um, even though I attach the tape to separate it, it will play the radio and the cassette. So <clears throat> these two wires goes into the switch in here. And uh, this is a switch I use for the uh, this video board. Uh, it's huge. Uh, locker switch because the uh, clients want to have a locker switch also this size and a six pin and I uh, also use the two switches for here one uh, the left one this switch will power on the uh, this unit then light red light goes on light on but, and I also use the uh, second switch for only Bluetooth so the last last time uh, with the uh, Sanyo M9994, uh, one of the switch do did every work. But this one, um, because of the client wants to hear the cassette or radio with light, lighting. So I separated the switch. And the second one will turn power on the uh, Bluetooth. Also, um, second one has the, uh, okay, the six pin. Now this to bottom one for the uh, power on the Bluetooth. Now this to top one is for the uh, this yellow line. Means the uh, whenever Bluetooth is off, this yellow line on the top, on this side is connected. The uh, this yellow line is connected when the Bluetooth is off. That means the uh, you can listen the cassette or radio. Once the Bluetooth is power on with these two switches. But the bottom one on this side, the, at the same time, the uh, left this side of the these two switches are separated off. That means the uh, this yellow line is off, and uh, only the Bluetooth signal goes into the system instead of the uh, radio or cassette. So, this is how I install the uh, Bluetooth onto this particular um, the JVC RC 550 mono huge monster boom box and the sound is nice so yeah that's a kind of trick i did so my way to install the uh, bluetooth is very analog analog so you know um probably easy for everybody to understand and you can create your own way you can just you know use the uh, this way or you can create your own way and uh, install Bluetooth onto this machine. Yep, that's it. So, enjoy your music life.